you, you have a cut in a film from one thing to another, what makes it work? What, what in an ideal sense, what would be the perfect cut? And uh, what I was suggesting was that a way to think about this is to say, well, let's say there are six things. Are they all satisfied? Uh, number one, is it emotional, meaning not necessarily wild emotion, but does it, is it true to the emotion that we want people to feel here, or does it subtract from the emotion or uh, distract? But if it pushes us forward along the emotional line that we're presuming that's a good thing, then number, does it tell the story? Do we understand what's happening? Does it advance the story? And in a musical sense, does the cut happen at the right point? Um, is, is it, um, you know, does, does it fit within the overall rhythm of what we've established? Um, these, in this list, these three things are, are united at the top um, pretty tightly. Uh, and it's, it, in practice, it's very difficult to separate these three, these three things. If the rhythm is right and the story is right and the emotion is right, it's, it's, it's hard. It's not impossible, but it's hard to separate these three things out. The bottom three are less important, uh, and, and in fact, this list is in diminishing importance. Eye trace simply means, do we know where the audience is looking, and are they looking in the upper right-hand corner or the lower left or in the middle? And at the point of the cut, are we taking that into consideration? Um, are we either accommodating that, meaning that on the other side of the cut, is there some focus of interest in that place which allows us to uh, you know that phrase, it cuts like butter, that's kind of what they're talking about in that the attention of the audience is carried uh, like, a, like a cup somehow from uh, shot to shot. And that as the audience's attention moves across the screen at the point of the cut, the mov movement of that attention point is not disrupted unless you want it to be. And if you're in the middle of a fight or something violent, then you do want to abuse that attention and cause the audience to become disoriented uh, because that advances the story and the emotion of what we're doing. The number five, which is the 2D plane, simply means the problems of dealing with three-dimensional uh, objects in a two-dimensional world. Uh, one of the important things there is just the concept of stage line. How do we represent whether people seem to be looking at each other or not? Uh, and then number six is are the people and objects moving in three-dimensional space coherently um, or not?